go through what I carry with me um, is just a, a pack that, uh, that I carry with me around town when I go anywhere that I'm not quite sure I'll have access to electricity or it might be a little bit out of the ordinary as far as location goes. In Western Montana, it doesn't take very far to travel off road before you can get yourself into some pretty serious situations quick. So I'm gonna go through this kit with you um, really fast. I'm not gonna explain everything in here. I'll just show you what I have. Obvious reasons are, are apparent. So that's, that's something that, uh, again, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on. Some of the curiosities I'll spend a little time on as well. So let's get into this little kit. This is a Maxpedition. This is the medium sized one. I'm not exactly sure what the brand is. I'll put that down in the, in the window down below here. Um, and you'll see the, uh, the model number for that. I'm not gonna go through and list everything in here. Google search some of this stuff, it's pretty easy. Uh, you'll see on the outside I have a sanitation wipe along with a binder clip. Um, binder clips are invaluable. You can use them for so many different things. Um, they're just, they're kind of a, a multi-tool in and amongst themselves. So, and then the sanitation wipe or the, the ana antiseptic wipe, it's self-explanatory. So I'll set this on the ground and we'll go through this. Okay, so here's the inside of the Maxpedition case. Um, obviously, I've got a few things in here that are, you know, they don't take a lot of explanation. Um, battery, I'll explain the battery here in just a second, but uh, lighter, you know, butane lighter. It's always good. Uh, something to, to start a fire if you have to, if you need to get warm. By the way, I'm sporting this uh, Casio AQS 810. I just got done doing the review on that. But what I really like to wear is my Steel Dive Willard with the Artem strap. Highly recommend Artem to anybody out there that's looking for some straps. Uh, this is a NATO strap, they do sailcloth. Just did a review on that, that'll be coming out as, uh, soon as well. So real quick, um, flashlight, uh, straight up little flashlight here. I forget the name, I'll put this down in the description down below or in the window down below here on the video so you can see what it is. Easy flashlight to use, has a clip that you can clip onto most things. The problem is this clip comes off the body of the flashlight, so not exactly the best flashlight to have, but it is a good light. Um, USB plug-in port, you know, you can have a plug, but uh, you know you got to have a USB plug uh, on there. So, um, what else? Let's see here got the typical Bic lighter with a rubber band around the bottom um, and that's just there to again more light more heat rubber band for tying things down earplugs in case I'm out shooting Don't forget to bring my earplugs here is an apple cord okay so and it's a long one and the longer ones are better because you can plug in from a distance so that has the lightning plug on it along with the USB this is the micro USB Okay, I do have, I gave my boys all a, a, a multi-cable where it has all the cables together on there. Ziploc bags, nothing nothing gets by a Ziploc bag. You can always use those to, to carry all kinds of stuff. I have a utility razor right here. Inside this pocket, I have a backup battery. Let's see how much it's fully charged. That's good. And that's the primary reason I carry this is for that. Re extra reading glasses. These are folding reading glasses. Um, and that's the end of that. Small multi-tool. This is a Gerber dime. One of my favorite multi-tools of all time is the Gerber dime. I have one in my cupboard that's totally mashed up and, and that it's, it is one of the great ones. And it has a tweezer right here. So that goes right along with the Swiss Army knife or the Victorinox, but I like that one a lot. Extra flashlight, I got this free. Um, actually has a pupil dilation gauge. Uh, I don't know exactly how that works, but I could measure the pupils on somebody if they needed it. Um, glasses, cloth, to wipe off glasses. This is a fast way to start a fire. Um, steel wool and a nine volt battery and a little bit of air and this thing will get red hot um, don't have to worry about it getting wet because it's electrical. You're basically creating a short circuit and it just heats up the the uh, steel wool, oxidizes it really fast, creating more, more heat, and you get that exothermic reaction for those of you that are chemists. However, 
keep the battery away from the steel wool. Do not put those two in the same place um, because you'll end up creating that fire without knowing it. Um, I have some first aid stuff here, bandage, and also some nitrile gloves. Nitrile because for law enforcement purposes anyway, if you ever come across fentanyl, you, uh, latex doesn't cut it. Uh, latex, the fentanyl will pass through the latex. So if you're dealing with any of that stuff, you gotta be careful of that. Little uh, kit for first aid, bandages, safety pins, um, some nails if I need it, a split ring, um, duct tape, Tylenol, all inside of a, oh, this is one of those battery, 86, uh, 18650 battery containers. So just kind of keeps things organized. So that's the interior of this. I generally have this with me when I go walking around town when I'm really going outdoors this is not the kit that I take with me obviously there's a lot more that I would take um, but this is this is the kit that helps me get through most things and quite honestly the, the biggest thing that I use I use this quite a bit actually is this spare battery for charging up my cell phone plug here and then when I'm out uh, traveling you know for a few days you got to have one of these plugs to, in order to plug in your USB cords so there's the kit that's what I carry with me when I'm on a quick, uh, you know, got to go somewhere and I'm not exactly sure what I'm stepping into. And uh, I've got some things that will take care of me. So share with me your ideas on a quick grab and go kit. Um, what do you carry with you? How extensive do you get? I try not to be too extensive with a kit like this because it's a certain size and I want to keep it that size. If I want to go bigger, it turns into a sling pack or a backpack. All right, this is Tim, another Real Ideal Gear Review. We'll catch you guys next time.